Hi guys, welcome to the first episode of our talk show, uh, Talk Cock Sing Song. Whee! Yeah. So in this uh, pandemic right now, we know that uh, many of you will be at home binging Netflix shows. So today, uh, me and my friends, today we're going to be talking about our favorite Netflix shows and recommend them to you. So today, Fami, Joshua and Jasper will be sharing uh, our top shows with you. Fami? Alright, so during this entire circuit breaker, I haven't been watching a lot of like actual shows. I've been watching anime instead. So I'm going to recommend to you the best anime in my opinion on Netflix. Or in general, just in general. It's called Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Okay, the Brotherhood is very important. I was saying because it's a lot better than other Full Metal Alchemist. <laughs> Wait, what's so funny? Okay, shut up. <laughs> so, so basically, I can see, see your hair. Yes. I see your so hair. Basically, yes. <laughs> what the show is about? It's about. <laughs> it's about a, a, the story of two brothers who are trying to get their bodies back after they lost them while trying to perform human transmutation, <laughs> which is the equivalent of trying to revive a dead person. So like, in this world of the show, right, it heavily revolves around the topic of alchemy, which is equivalent exchange, where I give you this for this, for like something back of the same value. So when trying to revive their dead mum, the elder brother lost his arm and leg, and the younger brother lost his body. So since the younger brother lost his body, he was bound to die. So in order to keep the, brother, the younger brother alive, the older brother connects the younger brother's soul to a piece of armour. Yeah, it sounds weird, it sounds dumb, I know, but it's legit damn good. So like, so like the story here, it's just the elder brother and the younger brother as a suit of armor trying to find, trying to find a way to get their bodies back by pursuing this thing called the Philosopher's Stone. And honestly, it's damn good. Isn't that a Harry Potter thing? I, yeah, yeah I don't know, Philosopher's Stone. Know, know. This came out like long time ago, a like, really long time ago. Wait, wait so, so, so we are talking about no, no, a Japanese Harry Potter? It's not a Japanese no. Harry Potter, there's no magic. <laughs> I feel like the whole idea of alchemy is magic. Right? It's not no, this is not magic. It's more of no, in like in in this show, right? Alchemy is more of science than magic. It's like cause you know, oh, you want to, let's, let's just say you want to transmute using alchemy, transmute like a wooden sword from like a, a tree. You can do that cause it's made of wood. Or like it's a metal thing. You want to make a metal metal bat. Then isn't that just like life? No, but you you you're not making it manually. You're making it on the spot. You just draw a circle there, and boom! It just comes out like. So so it's so it's magic. It's not. It's magic based on science. Let's just call it that. All right, all right. All right yeah, you get, you get what I mean. But it's damn okay. good. Just saying, just saying. It's freaking good. Okay. I think I think only like seventeen 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 years old. I watched show like, yeah, because uh, you know, it's like. <laughs> I think this this kind of show is meant for the for the younger crowd. All right, because uh, you guys are eighteen. Right? You guys eighteen. Jo- Joshua and I are so, already eighteen years old. Jasper is going to be eighteen in uh, about a few minutes. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Wait for that. Against the young one. I see. Unbelievable. So, so if you're if you're audience right and you're eighteen years old, I mean if you're below eighteen years old, I mean this podcast is not really suitable for Why you. Why is it not suitable for them? Because <laughs> <laughs> we are talking about adult I, I am a and, and mature stuff here. <laughs> <laughs> alright, alright. Right. Let's let's one. move on. <laughs> let's move on from here. Uh so that's Fabi's recommendation. What's the name again? Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Like the Brotherhood is important. Cause... Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Yes. Okay. Uh let's move on to Jasper. Jasper. Mm, so okay, show. so I got done watching The Society quite a while back, but it's actually really good because it's very fast paced. And okay, if you go and read the plot, right? The plot says that it's a bunch of teenagers who like they come back to a replica or like a version of their town where there's there are no adults, so their parents are gone. There's no like you think about it. There's like no parents. There are no teachers. There are no cashiers. There's nothing. That the, whatever roles the adults play in society, they're all gone. And like it's very fast paced because then you think like oh what can this spiral into like whatever this is probably some sci fi shit. It's not. It's actually it like like you the moment you jump into first episode within the first few minutes right. The kids are already thrown into this replica of their town, and people start like stealing and all that. It's like it's a bit like Animal Farm. Oh, no, actually, I think it's written off of Lord of the Flies. <laughs> but it's a bit of it, it's a bit of it's a bit like Animal Farm, animal but farm. not really. So 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 on our podcast today we have Japanese Harry Potter. <laughs> no no no, it's not Animal Farm. It's not Animal Farm. It's not Animal Farm. If people have watched Lord of the Flies, then it's a bit more like Lord, What's of, the Lord of the Flies. Is it like Harry Potter, like Lord of the Rings, but with flies? I have no idea. I've never, I've never read it. Then why do you, how do you know it's similar to the show? If it's, huh? 
just for no, your no, because when I when I no, no, because when, when I read the synopsis, uh, I read the synopsis of the book. Oh yes, amazing. so I kind I kind of like I have a I have a rough gauge. Okay, but yeah, that that's my favorite show. So I think everybody should go watch the Society. They have a season two coming out, but I society. think it's like later this year. I yeah. see. I see. Somewhat, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. So what 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 in particular draws you to the show? Like what's so interesting other than the fact that? Because we're all it's we're all teenagers, what? Think about it. We're no, all teenagers, are adults, and we all eighteen think... year olds. We are we're kind of closer to the really, huh? young adult yeah, we're on a, like, a different level. <laughs> okay, no, no, wait, wait, wait. But but being a teenager, right? Okay, if we are all so close to being young adults, then we have gone through the teenager phase, right? We know what it's like to like wish sometimes that we didn't have the restrictions that adults put in place. So now you see what happens when all the restrictions are gone and people and people our age have to run a town and make it work. What does it Yeah. Yeah. It's deeper That's than Japanese show. Harry Potter. Hey, hey, Japanese <laughs> Harry Potter is fucking good, bro. I swear. It's so good. good. You guys you guys need to stop the against the biasness against anime, bro. Straight up. Dead ass. Mm. Mm-hmm. Uh, 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 but anime is animated characters. Uh huh. Yeah. So, for it's... people below eighteen. So guys, oh okay, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh, well, I think you're gonna get negative comments yeah. like this like <laughs> for video. Uh, okay. Anyway, so I'll I'll go next. One of my favorite uh shows that I've watched is Daredevil. I I got done with it very very long ago, Daredevil. but I. I have intention to rewatch it. Actually, right here before this show, I went to take out my fa- my two favorite toys. They're actually, damn cool. Toys. Yeah. Ooh. So, so, so Daredevil is about like this uh blind guy who is by day a lawyer and by night a vigilante, and he goes and fight crime at night, and it's quite cool to see the parallel because in the day he fights crime, in the in the courtroom legally, yeah. and then at night he fights crime illegally, uh in the shadows and everything. And like, although that might sound kind of boring, but like you, s- you really go in depth and you look at the underlying messages and stuff, like about justice and all that crap. I think it's really interesting, and I think it's something that's really worth watching. Wait, wait, let me understand. You know, if you want to watch the show, you have to be above eighteen because it's got a lot of blood. So if you're if you're not a young adult, you can. Oh watch. yeah, it's super gory. You see, like people's head getting bashed in. By, by a car. By a car, yeah. There was, by a there was car one door. scene where there was this guy at the car door and then the, the villain, he was like... <laughs> the, yeah. So yes. violent, oh my god. Yes, that's like... Uh, yes. It's, a, it's, a pre- it's a pretty violent show. A pretty violent mm-hmm. show. Mm-hmm. Pretty, pretty, pretty violent. Pretty, pretty. Pretty violent. This is one of the shows that I would totally recommend. Uh, Joshua, what about you? Okay, uh, so... I'm a kind of like a K-drama kind of guy. So I think okay. I've watched about like 10 K-drama in this like past two years. Okay, that's not really a lot considering I'm not really someone that binge watches. Okay, but one of the K-drama that I really like uh, is called Uncontrollably <gasps> Fun. Same. Okay, so so basically yeah, Uncontrollably Fun is by is acted by Lee Min Ho's ex-girlfriend. Mm-hmm. Which yeah, Bay Suzy, which is she's really good looking. So it's like a plus. It's, so it's like so it's like a plus plus point. So at the start of the movie, right? It's a drama. Uh, it's sixty. Okay, at the start of the drama, sixteen episodes, right? Then the the guy at the first episode, the guy receiving the news that he's about to die. Oh. Then everybody's like, oh. this about to die, right? Then after the girl appears. Then it turns out that the girl and the guy knows each other from a long time ago. Oh. But they they lost contact. They lost contact. Oh. But the guy became very famous. He's a very famous actor. In the show la. Then the girl is a uh, The girl is a documentary producer But that day Then you have to see how they like Came together Then it was filmed during winter oh, ma, So it's it like even more oh. Yeah uh, Then like <laughs> It's even more romantic la. Then they just They just like Every time Cause the guy The guy's very tall right Then the guy always like Like to like <laughs> Like stand over Stand over together <laughs> <laughs> Just like spam boying <laughs> Yeah, then that is yeah, it's quite nice, la. Then you see how like at the last episode, even though it's a tragic ending, which I would, like you already hey. know it's gonna be a tragic oh, ending. For right from the first girl. episode. No, like I read the same not before I even watched the show, so I'm spoiling for you guys. Oh, what a scrub! <laughs> <laughs> what a scrub! Cause I was spoiled by myself. Yeah, 
but other than that, it's a very nice show. So recommend all you guys to go and watch. The show is like how many episodes are there? The uncontrollable one, sixteen, right? If I'm wrong, there's really about twenty. If I'm not wrong, twenty episodes means one hour. So it means twenty hours of watch time total. Yeah. Don't you find that like a bit that like a bit too long? Like honestly, like these days, I'm suffering from like bit my my inability to binge watch shows. No, it's like every time you come to like maybe the halfway mark, like ten episodes, then you will like suffer from like burnout and all. They, yeah, you, you just kind of feel tired. Yeah. Cause like, I don't know, like when you're going in a constantly in a row, you just feel like, wow, I'm tired. So I'm gonna take a break. And then the thing is, when for me when I take the break, right, I don't come back to it, which honestly sucks. It's like how I've been stuck at doing season four episode twenty three of Friends for the past half a year, and honestly, I've been wanting to get back to it, but I've never gotten back to it. I don't know why. It's like I'm constantly putting it off to watch a different show. No, but then don't you forget the plot from like all the other episodes? But I see no. The thing about Friends, right, is the plot is so iconic that I won't forget about it. It's like I remember, think episode twenty three of the show is supposed to be Ross's wedding, and I remember that very clearly. Right. Because that's how iconic the stuff is. So I don't forget. Mm. So you choose to stop at iconic moments. No, I didn't choose to stop. But I just got tired. I just like okay, I'm gonna just chill. For but Confirm got 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 times when like you stop and it's like not it's nothing nothing iconic. Then how do you? Because I will I will completely forget. I'll have to rewatch from season one, which is such a waste of time. Honestly, but the thing is, right? So what the hell? <laughs> no, 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 that but is just is ridiculous. Is <laughs> what do you mean by that's ridiculous? <laughs> no, 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 you, if you watch it on season one, it's just dumb dumb. But think about it, right? When, once you start rewatching it, like re- starting the episode now, then you, you the, the, the memories of like what you watched before will start falling back. It's yeah, but like, is oh, that, is yeah, that moment of confusion that I cannot stand? No, but it's that feeling of like you suddenly, you lose the, you lose the yeah. momentum, you know? Then you feel like, Oh. And for me, I watch a few episodes back. I won't watch all the way from okay, season 1. Maybe true. I watch from season uh, 4, episode 20. Yeah. Then I'll, it'll, it'll come back to me slowly. Okay, see, right, the, I think it makes more sense. The way I deal with this problem in like anime, because anime has all the different arcs, right? Is that, I remember like, I run an episode, I just start on, the, start on the arc, like the start of the arc itself. So like, there's this bunch, arcs is like a bunch of chapters, or a bunch of like, yeah, arc, arc. <laughs> a bunch of episodes in a row. I see. Uh-huh. So I just start from the start of that. Uh, sorry to oh. Jasper's fans. Sorry to Jasper's fans, but Jasper is being very ridiculous by starting from season one. What do you mean? <laughs> no, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. I start from season one and I skim to find the parts that I might have missed. Because sometimes they reference, like, like sometimes they reference, like, somebody died. How do you died. skim? You skim, no, la, you know, like. You know how some shows, some, some shows, like, at the start of the first, first episode of season, right? They have, like, previous season recap. Okay, okay, but some, some, some shows don't have that. And you know, no, like, every episode there's always like, some, some, like, we find some shows, like, but some shows have the episode recap, like, the previous episode recap. Yeah, some. So those are nice to have, so to like stop the, this issue. Yeah, I think, I, yes, I agree. Okay, wait, guys, my alarm just rang. I, I set an alarm for 12 midnight, and 12 midnight is Jasper's birthday! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, Thank Jasper! You. Thank you! Thank <laughs> you! For your birthday present, I'll go an entire day without judging you. Wow! For your birthday present, I'll look at 4 p.m. to work out, and then I'll eat my food, then I'll shower, then I'll fast for the entire day. Hey, that's just that's open that's your door for your okay, birthday present. Google. Stop. <laughs> open my door? <laughs> yeah, just, just open your door. Why? What is going to be outside? Josh, Josh, show us your birthday present. Yeah. What am I going to do with Joshua? Yeah, I'm, I'm right outside your door. Can you see? <laughs> Joshua, what's that behind you? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh... Yeah, <laughs> uh, I think this burnout syndrome is quite common amongst a lot of people, la, and it's it's normal to face them. But like, I think two very extreme reactions is to not watch the show for half a year. The other, the other side of the extreme is to rewatch from season one. Yeah. I think, uh, yeah. But you see, my me not rewatching for half a year is because I watch other shows. It's not like I just don't watch anything. Okay, me starting from the no, beginning is like... just to clear any confusion. Because sometimes they no, reference starting something. Starting from the beginning is just absolutely ridiculous. No, yeah, wait. I can't imagine, you can't imagine you start at season 8, episode 20, and you'll be like, oh shit, I can't remember what happened. I'm going to watch on season 1. Let's just damn dumb. <laughs> like, bro, wait, can you This kind of reminds me of... This kind of reminds me of something. Because like, you know, I watched Daredevil, right? Yes. And then, I wanted to watch Defenders or so. But then... Before I needing to watch Defenders, I, I apparently I have to know the story of Jessica Jones and Luke Cage and Iron yeah, Fist. Really and apparently all those shows weren't very good. So like what I did was I went to watch everything you need to know before watching Oh, that's quite smart. That, that works too. But I don't know, Defenders didn't really yeah. need 
background info. You just need to know the gist of what of who they are. Yeah, I yeah, I I, I guess. I think as the leader of the group. Oh but I you think... need to know what happened in Defenders before season <laughs> three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. You need to know what happened in Defenders before season yeah. three. Yeah guys, I feel so appreciated. Thank you. No, that's thank why you. I needed thank to watch guys. Defenders. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, <laughs> thank you guys. <laughs> okay, okay. I think uh this will be the last few moments of our talk show today. Uh so before we end off today, we're just gonna go one round and just go for the top show that we recommend everyone to watch. It doesn't have to be the show that we mentioned just now. Just name a show. Alright? Let's start from Joshua. Uh, I think the show that I'll recommend would be Uncontrollably Fun, which is a very nice K drama. Alright. Jasper. Um I didn't mention this just now, but Green Leaf. Because it's a good show. Yes, and also the yes. society. Everything is a good show, Jasper. No, that's not true. <laughs> uh, Fami. Yes. Uh, Friends episode twenty three season four. So so for now, people will just specifically <laughs> go to the episode and episode. just watch that single episode. <laughs> then they yeah. they, they watch and it. Like, hey, Fami, this is what happens in the episode. I'm like, okay, <laughs> all right. Now I know what happens. I can go to season five now. <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> Uh, yeah. For myself, I, I didn't mention this just now. Uh, I'll recommend The Good Place because I think it's a very, 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 very good show. Jasper mm-hmm. doesn't agree, but it's, no, I think okay, it's, it's just one of the best shows. Jasper disagrees with everything. Jasper, shut up! You shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Jasper disagrees with everything. She thinks anime is shit. She thinks she doesn't like K drama. And then she's like, huh. Look, Jasper just like anti everything people likes. She ain't like hey, to be fair, to be fair, I have no wait wait. To be fair, I did give K drama a chance, okay? I got watch K drama. <laughs> okay, what, what drama do you watch? Tell me. You know. I think it's called Cheer or Cheer Up or something like that. And that will be for another time. So that's oh, no, all I the time we Doctor have for... Oh no, I watched Doctor Stranger. Okay, shut oh, up. Yeah, yeah, shut up, shut up, shut up. <laughs> it's good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, the closest good. thing I've gotten to a K-drama was Kim's Convenience. That's not even... Okay, 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 okay. This is all the time we have today. Disclaimer whatever me and Joshua said at the start of the video about anime being stupid is false. I tried watching anime once, it's not bad. Mm-hmm. Yes, mm. I call BS. No, really, I've not watched really, anime. Really? I've not watched anime. I'm not attending, intending to watch anime, so yeah. <laughs> whatever I say is stupid. I, I watched the, whatever I say I watched the music <laughs> one. <laughs> And I watched one episode of Food Wars, the Shoku no Keki. Oh, okay. That, that show is that show's pretty good. Let me see. No, it's not good. Yeah, okay. Anyway, so that's all the time we have for today. Thank you for <laughs> watching our first episode of our talk show, Talk Cock Sing Song. Sing song. Thank, you, thank you. Yay! Thank Bye. you. Good night. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, and. Okay, and we, and we hope to hit a thousand like, views share, so we can subscribe. start earning money for our channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank wow. you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Give Jasper her birthday present of subscribing to our channel. Yes, yeah, I agree. For Give my birthday, birthday, subscribe to my channel. I... Our channel, yes. Yes. Subscribe. And that's it Yay. from the bloody good vocals. See you. Yep. Okay, bye. Wait, yes, I'm okay.